And next we have an interesting pair. Uh, on stage here to the right here we have Stephen Boyer and Stephen Kleiser. Wow. Well, I've been practicing that. Okay, now I'm particularly interested because you're incredibly good at the game Mario Brothers. So the first question that we're all thinking, is there a correlation between being good at Mario Brothers and being called Stephen? <laughs> Coincidence. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be something. Okay, right, I'll stop well, the stupid question. The name is spelled different. That's right. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry, okay. Um, now, what I'm interested in is when you're going for a world record on, on a game, it's often quite a solitary experience and often possibly a lonely experience. You've picked a game where you can play co-op mode. I wondered whether that was a, a conscious choice. It was something that you could do with someone as opposed to on your own. Either Steve. I think it eventually became that. We had befriended each other because Stephen was a Twin Galaxies referee. So, and, and or he was verifying scores. And so uh, he had verified a couple of my Turbo Miss Pac-Man <coughs> scores. And so we sort of got to know each other that way. And then just through talking, we sort of discovered each other's love for Mario Brothers individually. And then sort of one thing led to another. Dude, we just he, started he started sending around. me scores for Mario Brothers. And then I, you know, next thing I know, I was like, I wish we could somehow just like do a co-op. Yeah. And then we discovered something called Main Hub. Main Hub, yes. Okay. And then since he lives in Florida, <clears throat> and I live in South Carolina, we were able to actually play it through the internet and practice. Exactly. So if it, if it wasn't for main mode, we probably wouldn't be as good as we are. What's a lovely story. And of course, at events like this, you do come together and play literally next to each other. Now, I'm interested, your two grown men play cooperatively on a video game. It's a video game that requires cooperation. Of course, some people can make mistakes. Do you find yourself squabbling while you are playing Mario Brothers? I mean, if we do, it, it comes and goes within a couple seconds. I mean, I might accidentally kill him, and he's like, you know, don't kill me or something, but it's gone. Normally, kill you, that's normally a negative thing. Um, I want to know, have you noticed different elements in your play style when you co when you play cooperatively? Like, is one of you more kind of aggressive, one of you more perhaps patient? And, and does that say something about your own characters off screen? Well, we break down the board. I usually work the top, he works underneath the pal and we sort of developed some sequences and technique as we went along. We sort of discovered, as we were playing together, certain better ways to do things as we went along, as far as achieving. Because the, the whole point of Mario Brothers is, is beating that phase before, it start, before the board starts getting out of hand. So the quicker that you finish it, you know, the longer you're going to survive. I've just put, just for, for some of us who obviously know the game but are not fantastic uh, on it, you're currently going for a challenge which involves not using the POW. Can you just tell me the whole sort of dynamic? Uh, is the POW considered a bit of a cheat? Why have you got this no power? The, 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 the no power back when I was a referee, um, and I think they had Donkey Kong no hammer, so I made a new variation called no POW, where you just can't use the POW. And that's really where the idea came from. And um, what we're doing out here is actually playing it on the hardest settings as well. So we, we're trying to break a million, playing it on the hardest, no power. We're, we're trying to stress ourselves out. Now, yeah. <laughs> as one would. And um, stay in the spotlight. <laughs> I, did, I, I am interested because, of course, you are playing cooperatively. But, of course, there are individual scores and I dutifully checked on Twin Galaxies. And I believe that Stephen K is slightly ahead of Stephen B on this. Now, Stephen B, Stephen Boyer, do you intend to, you know, take on your uh, cooperative partner and actually get well, the individual high school? How does that rivalry work within your cooperative? Well, I mean, I'm right behind him, but Stephen K is also ahead of Stephen K on Main. Okay. So there's two different records. Okay. So would you ever, you know, is there any rivalry entering your relationship? You know, is he, or is he just all cooperative? Only, only the football teams we like. He's a Dallas Cowboys fan, I'm a Washington Redskins fan, so it's pretty ironic. That sounds like Manchester United and Man City where I'm from, so I, I'm, I'm well, so no, scared. The NFL's in London now. Okay, well, thanks for that. You're taking us over on every front, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so uh, let's just uh, revisit that then. So here are the record holders, both cooperatively and individually, on a game featuring the best known video game character. I think that's legendary status. Can we hear it for the two Stevens?